why are we acting like this is normal? Why are we acting like this is normal? Hello, stay with me. Don't act slow. I hate to use that word, but I feel like I'm living on Lonely Island and I need for people to come join my island. Now, I've seen some people that 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 are thinking like I'm thinking, but it's not enough people thinking that way and it's got me a little concerned, okay? We know who this man is. We've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. If you don't know briefly, here you can see what's happening here. You have this teacher here who has some of his female students taking his hair down. He did it a couple of weeks ago or last week or something on the live. Some people had some things to say about it. He went, came on here, made a TikTok talking about, I'm going to stir the pot and the baby, you done stirred it until you lost your job. Now, look, if you want the full backstory, go ahead and do your research. Or I'm here to talk about why this is not okay. Okay, do I think that this man was on some old R. Kelly stuff? No, I don't. I honestly, genuinely do not think so. I don't think that this man meant any ill will towards these children, but just because your intentions are not to hurt somebody, hello, do y'all know where I'm going with this? Just because you do not intend to hurt someone does not mean that you are not causing damage. There is more than one way for someone to be harmful to a child. There's more than one way for a man to be harmful to female students or any adult to be harmful to children than just that of the actual persuasion. You know what I'm saying? You can trauma dump on children. You can un really unknowingly trauma dump on children and lean on them in a way that it is inappropriate, okay? This is an, um, uh, this is an emotionally unstable human being. OK, and I'm going to need for these teachers to start having to go uh, some kind of psych evaluation quarterly, annually uh, or, or something. OK, because you were focusing too much on he's just being close to his students. You could be close to your students in many a ways without d you using class time to do this, even if it was the last 10 minutes of the day. OK, it's inappropriate. There needs to be boundaries. OK. This man is unstable. When he first got suspended because because of the backlash of the original TikTok live or whatever that he was doing, because when those young ladies were undoing his hair, he's sitting up here crying, talking about, I miss, I miss my kids. I miss my students. These students were his whole world. Yes, your students are important to you. Kids are important to you, whether they're your own, your nieces, your nephews, your younger brothers and sisters, whatever. Children can heal you. Kids do have a healing power. But this man was acting as though this was all that he was living for, and that is not healthy. He was leaning on these kids and making these kids his whole entire world, and that is not healthy for the child or for him. Okay? There needs to be boundaries. So let's look at it from the other side. Maybe he is emotionally stable. Maybe he's just a sensitive soul. I don't think he had any ill will. But baby, just because you didn't have any ill will towards these kids don't mean that these kids won't come around and do something to you. Doesn't mean that these parents or haters who are watching this live won't turn this into something out of just out of spite, out of being hateful, out of being nasty. These were not little bitty kids. These were teenage girls. Baby, let me tell you something. While we're sitting up here and acting like that these teenage girls, these teenage kids do not have fully developed oh, hormones, why are we acting like kids can't be evil? Why are we acting like kids can't have ulterior motives, okay? You got a bunch of little girls up in here, okay? Okay, let's, let's, let's be real for a second. Just because you didn't have ill will does not mean that one of these little girls or multiple of them, multiple of them could develop a little crush on you. And as soon as you, the teacher, start having a, a, a favoritism towards somebody else, all of a sudden she's jealous and upset and her little hormones then kicked in. And now all of a sudden she wants to say, oh, well, he touched me or he did this to me. Da, 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 da. Children, teenagers can be spiteful. They can be evil and they are not fully emotionally developed. All this up here ain't fully developed. Okay. But they 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 have been on this planet enough, they can devise up some shit. They can come up with some stuff to tear you down. And that's the wrath that you're feeling right now. These kids did not complain on you, no. But I'm saying this as a warning to any other adult who's going around calling these kids and teenagers besties. These are my friends. I'm so close to them, blah, blah, blah. Baby, that's not how it works. You have to have boundaries. 
because you don't just because your intentions are good does not mean everyone else's intentions are good okay i'm going to need for decorum in the classroom i'm going to need professionalism in the classroom there needs to be boundaries there's nothing wrong with going the extra mile to be close to your students okay people want to sit up here and say oh y'all didn't want close to y'all teachers and it shows baby it's ways to be close to your students without it crossing the line first of all it's just unprofessional He's like, well, I sent notes out to the kids and to the kids' teachers, and if, if the last 10 minutes of the day, if they had good behavior, if all their work was done, they could come. They don't need to be taking your you, even if you were taking your hair, I'm, I'm gonna sit here and pull my own hair trying to trying to preach to y'all. Even if you, sir, were taking out your own hair, that's unprofessional to do on the job. I understand you had a hair appointment, you needed some help. You know, in the community, especially in the black community, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not nothing uncommon. We sit and we help each other do our hair. But there is a time and a place and the way that it looks. You might not have been looking at them little girls like that. But I guarantee you, let's keep it real up in here. At least one of them little girls was looking at you like that. Okay? Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real up in here. You, you have to have boundaries. Okay, and he's sitting up here saying, "Well, the parents love me, and they and then my kids love me, and my the uh, my the parents say how much they love." Yeah, I bet up, uh, I bet they do, because look at you, because y'all want to talk about it. it's a double standard. I used to pay play in my female teacher's hair all the time. Now we can't do it because it's a man. That's not the double standard that y'all need to be worried about. Let's worry about the double standard of con being conventionally attractive, being young. And, and and being being edgy okay this man right here is conventionally attractive right he's young and he's obviously it seems like he has a higher black uh ratio of students in the classroom so you have black students with a black teacher with this handsome young man and he's got these tattoos he's edgy and stuff of course some parents like you they trying to get with you too. Open your eyes, brother, because what I'm sensing here is is that there is an, a, 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 a stunt on your emotional development and you are trying to heal whatever childhood trauma that you have, okay? And I've heard a few people say this, okay? And I felt it and I saw it and I heard people say it so I knew I wasn't making it up in my mind, but I'm going to repeat it. You are healing some emotional trauma by leaning on these kids. You are getting something out of these relationships with these kids that you did not get yourself when you were their age or uh, around their age. Okay? It is not okay. And if this man was older, if this man was not conventionally attractive, if this was a white man, if these was white little girls, it would be a whole, it would be a whole different story. And where are the, where are the little boys? You just needed help to undo your hair. Why is it just a bunch of little girls around you? It don't look right. And then somebody who's just chiming in on the lab and they don't know the context and they just see a bunch of little girls standing around some grown man, it doesn't look nice. And if that is the dynamic of your school, maybe y'all do have a community and it's it's family-based community. You don't need to be on live. We don't know the 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 culture or the community uh, or the the dynamic in your classroom, in your school, in your city, in your neighborhood. To people who are just scrolling on TikTok, where you decided, oh, I'm gonna post this. I'm a cool teacher. You want to be so damn cool that you forgot your code of conduct. Even if your school was okay with this, baby, these people can change their mind at any time. As soon as you start putting the school in a bad light, oh, baby, you got to go. Whether they were okay with it last week, last year, all year, this is the end of the school year, it doesn't matter. Y'all want to be so quick to broadcast everything on this live and all this TikTok and all this stuff. Stop and think what you're putting on here. Because context is everything. And most people don't take the time to take out context. This man wasn't trying to do nothing wrong, but maybe this is a blessing in disguise because maybe one of them little girls or the parents around you, maybe they would have tried to make it and take something out of nothing, okay? Don't lean on children. Get your therapy. Figure out why this is tearing you apart so much. It's one thing to be sad, to be away from your students, but the way you are crumbling, baby, it ain't healthy. This ain't normal. Take me off a lonely island, y'all, or come join me. Join me.
God bless this young man. I hope it all work out for you. Just be careful doing what y'all doing online, y'all.